Good day to everyone. My name is Paula Herlock and welcome to episode two of Paula Herlock Dimensional Dialogues. And today we're going to have a guest who, first of all, let's just establish this. Whomever I bring on as a guest, I believe has helped me or I have seen help other people. And so one of the purposes of bringing them on is to share them with the world as a resource person. Now, the person that I'm bringing on today is a powerful resource person that I've been um, utilizing since about February of this year. And I am one of those people who are very curious about the mind, about an individual's power to heal, to self-heal, to remedy their situation, to empower themselves to get stronger as they're going through, especially based on some of the traumas that they faced. So of course, like all other humans, I have suffered some traumas, very simple ones, but they have affected me in, a, in profound ways that, you know, prevented me from moving forward at times when I needed to be able to move forward. So I met Mr. Rohan Clark, and he's an ancestral resolve practitioner. Now he's done NLP, he's a, a psychotherapist, all of those things. And he does practice those things when he feels they're necessary. However, the last thing that he studied then was ancestral resolve. And since doing that one, he has said that one has surpassed all of the others. And as a result, he has decided that that's the one that he's going to spend most of his time utilizing. Now, I had the benefit of interacting with him. And as I said before, it erased a couple of issues that I have been carrying with me for years, perhaps even decades. So I'm going to invite um, Rohan to join me now. Um, and he will introduce himself and I'm going to question him just the way you would question him because to be very honest, I don't really understand all of it. All I know is that we carry our traumas and we also carry ancestral traumas. And sometimes people get spooked when we talk about ancestral traumas because they say, how do we get rid of ancestral traumas? Well, this is the gentleman who um, has been trained to do it, who also has natural gifts. And so it, per it pre presents the perfect opportunity for him to be able to assist people. So without further ado, let me bring on Mr. Rohan Clark. Hello, Rohan. Hi, how are you? Oh, I am very good. I was just bragging to everyone. <laughs> about you and what you do and i don't think i gave a great description of what you do so i'm going to allow you the opportunity to just introduce yourself tell people you know what you've been trained in the areas of your expertise and what you now do with respect to ancestral resolve so you now have the floor introduce introduce yourself mr clark thank you thank you Here's the thing. One of the, one, one of the most important things mm -hmm. is that I'm doing what I love. Yeah. I've, I've early in my life, I've experienced a lot of suffering in my view. Right. And seeing people around me, loved ones, I'm going to the same thing, self-sabotaging themselves. Mm -hmm. And I decided, I mean, I was a successful businessman. And I, I, I came to a realization that money wasn't all the fulfillment that i needed right so i went on this path to figure out figure out life if you will mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, because all of this suffering and this these unfulfillment and no matter what it just seemed like i'm i'm still not getting happy like you know they told us to go to school get an education and be somebody yes and i was i was following everything that they said and here was i having all the money that i needed and I still couldn't find this happiness. Right. So I went right. on this journey to find tools, well, even um, ultimately for myself, uh -huh. and to help my loved ones. Right, right. So 
So you studied quite a bit of you studied quite a bit modalities. of modalities. Right. Okay. Tell us about some of the modalities. So because I studied um spirit wealth, NLP, neurolinguistic programming, hypnosis, mm -hmm. um, numerology. I studied everything other than mainstream. Right, right. But you know, I just I have to interrupt everyone because how I met Rohan was I had met him with a group of friends and I, I said, listen, I'm unhypnotizable. I cannot be hypnotized. Of course, he wanted to prove me wrong, right? He's like, everybody is hypnotizable. I was like, okay, try me, you know? But yeah, sorry, Rohan. Yeah, sure. So, uh, the, of course, the creator is involved in, in what we do and all of us has the ability, but we, there's a thing that we call free will. Mm -hmm. And that free will includes, if you will turn your back on the creator, that's how free we are. We are, we are so free that we choose bondage. Mm -hmm. So uh, I've gone on a journey and I came up with this concept of my business, the aim. I want to align to truth. So it's, it's align inspired mission. Mm -hmm. So this journey, we don't make any claims because as I said, I'm just, I don't even call myself a healer. I call myself the conduit or the facilitator, the creator mm -hmm. does the work. Right. But I have witnessed and gotten a lot of report just about everything shifting with this work. Right. Okay. Let me stop you right there. Because whenever persons hear about ancestral resolve, mm -hmm. people start to freak out. Okay. Well, uh, that sound like African spirituality. That sound like, um, yeah things on the borderline how would you describe what you do so that persons who are genuinely seeking support or facilitation from you are not spooked because i know this um when people hear for example the term numerology they go oh that's on the borderline of this and that's on the borderline of that but one of the things that you reinforced when you were working with me is that we all are connected to God, the divine, and that the work that you do, you are working with the divine. You're working through prayer. You're working through affirmations. So tell me in exactly how you do this. Especially, All right, let me give an example just to help someone who is watching this. I um, always do my one-on-one -on -one consultations. And, mm -hmm. and most of the times, it's really just a redirection or an, you know, my ability to help someone to take a slightly different perspective on the problem that they're experiencing at the time, right? Now, occasionally, I run into situations where people have childhood traumas or even past life, tra past life traumas that they're not able to, to deal with. And I, through talking, I'm not able to deal with. And I normally refer them to you, mm -hmm. right? My question is, if someone has severe traumas, you know, sexual traumas, abuse traumas, accident kind of traumas, are they able to come and do a session with you and navigate those traumas and explain how you how you navigate it with them? Oh, certainly, because uh, I, I was going to explain that we have gotten we have gotten a lot of reports of people experiencing some simple, profound relationships, relationships resolving, sleep issue resolving, finances resolving. People attracting partner and resolving issues now so that <laughs> it frees their ancestors okay. and their future generation. Right. Now, if you look at ancestors, really mean past. Right. And these so called traumas are basically hurts, wrongs, um, negative imprints, unhealthy conclusions and beliefs. In a sense, holding on to what's not serving. Aha. Uh -huh. So the simplicity, we keep it very simple. Mm -hmm. So the core of what we do is the, we use is the power of forgiveness. Ah, because people, 
that yeah. one hot that's yeah. hard and and people hear about hear about forgiveness and say but i have done that yes but you know as, as, a, as an hypnotist also i have studied the mind and most of these things what is running the show is the subconscious so even though, although you consciously have your heart desire and consciously want what you are getting is what you carry how you oh. feel who you are that's what wrong in the program so you can even if you keep you could do a million affirmations i am wealthy i am wealthy i am wealthy every time you say that the subconscious is saying hello i have a program running down here say you are poverty and we are not going to approve that we are running we are approving the program that is running the 90 percent of who we are is running the show mm -hmm. so what we do we inspire we use um certain certain tools if you will our recipes using forgiveness mm -hmm. and uh, inspire people to focus that's one of the things people people are not focusing right and, uh, and by that i mean really there's a difference between in mind and in being mm -hmm. most people are in mind and in, in mind, we're here to have an experience. And in mind, we cannot experience the life or true heart's desire. We have to be present. You know, we'd like to put it that in the presence of God, we get presence. So we teach you to focus. We teach you to be grounded. We teach you to be in our, in our body so you can experience. Then we resolve by using the power of forgiveness and get to the personal awakening and um, transcend it into cosmic awakening. So they, 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 the, bur the burdens are the traumas are really hurts, wrongs, and beliefs that we hold on to. And, you know, for who, and not everybody, everybody have different beliefs. But for who, and, and we hear different stories. The Bible, the Bible told us that um, we cannot die, stuff like that. And we hear different, different stories. But our souls have had, a, had different experiences. For who is open to that? Right, right. Because... Um, a number of persons that I refer you to, they were like, okay, um, I'm a Christian. I don't want to do this if it's going to be hokey pokey stuff. And I said, no, it's really just a session where he relaxes you. He gets you to get calm. He probably does a prayer with you if you're open to it. And then he gets you to be able to go into your subconscious mind and remember what the root of a particular feeling or sensation or emotion was. And then he gets you to go back even further to address it. And then in doing that, you, you, you get to pull it out. Um, Ron, you always say you pull it out like a, a bad weed. Yeah, pull it weed, out by the, the roots yes the weeds in our garden yes yes explain that a little bit um you always make reference to the fact that you need a handle to be yeah. able to so tell us about that so that you know people who are interested in the experience will kind of have an idea of what goes on and don't just think it's some kind of hocus pocus all right so we are spiritual beings having this human experience mm-hmm and there's a there's a what we call a quantum field there's a scientific scientific explanation for it mm -hmm. it's basically called incidentally it's called spooky action yes which means we're basically collapse the collapse the timeline because those birds and hurts wrongs and if, if if we can go a little further for who will versions of us that's why we heard about i, I was watching a thing today um a gentleman was was illustrating that they take a glass, take a plate, and and throw it on the ground. They're basically illustrating that when you throw a plate on the ground and say sorry to the plate, you cannot put it back together again. Uh, we heard about Humpty Dumpty fall, fell off the wall and had a great fall. Couldn't do, they said the king's men and meaning the mind could not put it back together. But when we connect to the truth of who we are, higher intelligence, that can put us back together again. So those hurts wrongs and identity so basically versions are us are basically affected that is keep coming up stuck in different time space dimension and the, uh, what the truth of who we are is wholeness 
Now, what's less than that is fragments. So do what the representation of fragments basically where I split. Mm -hmm. So what, what I do basically we call it Dunkirk or put, put inspire to put back together with this thing. And I said the scientific explanation is a in the quantum field, you we can access so what has been carrying the frequency, so the fragment creates a frequency. Yes. And that frequency keeps bringing more of what? It's like questions come with the answer. Mm -hmm. So if we are carrying a, a frequency that I'm not enough, yes. we are going to the frequency matching the uncle, brother, sister of that. So the answer is going to show up with what is going on within us. Right. And it's really not a negative. It's actually here for us. It's saying, look here, you need to change something. Mm -hmm. Something need to change. Pay attention. You understand? Right. So those, those that, that thing that happened to you early in your life or for who believe in um, that are sort of have other experiences, we address that just in case. If it happened from then, that frequency still, you could have, we're not going to find this out until the body drops. But I like to say the best thing, the second best thing is to wake up when the body drops. I don't understand that. Explain that for me. When the body drops, is it when you drop into your body or when the body drops into itself? Explain that to us. So when we, so when we, we keep coming back for who believe that our souls have had our experience. Okay, so reincarnation. So back okay. to be free. We keep coming back to remedy and address those things that we mm. came over. And when we come over with, we come over with amnesia and we ignorantly take on more of these debris and accumulate more burdens. Right. Yeah. Right. So, the, as I said, the best thing we find this out when the body drops. When we, I, I like to say, nobody, nothing dies, everything changes. When we transition. When we transition. Right. And you say, whoa, I spent another 100 years down there and I took on mm -hmm. some more problem or debris or trauma. Right. Into it. right. So, I'm saying the first best thing is to wake up while we are alive. Right. And I think. I think that's a reasonable request and I mean anybody who is watching this um, is going to be a person that is in search of solutions because they're very clear in their recognition of the fact that they are responsible for ensuring that in this lifetime they resolve their karmic issues, they resolve situations, they grow themselves, they evolve their spirit and so on. And so this thing that you do, this modality that you do, Rohan, really helps people to, I would say, accelerate that process. Um, it helps them to wade through all the gunk and the muck and the baggage and all the stuff that they have taken on during their lifetime. It helps them to be able to drop those things and to move ahead unencumbered, right? That was yeah. my experience. That's that's, so, that's why. That's yes, all right. So that shows this modality because it's it, it's the fastest. Mm -hmm. It get it it get it done quickly. Right. As I said, the, the particle that is there, it, it identifies what is going on in your life now and as, and and align it with that, and basically collapse the timelines and it's resolved. Right. And of right. course, of course, it's there are different things because we have we have. Come here quite sometimes over and over so there are different layers sometimes mm -hmm. but one one issue sometimes is connected to a lot everything is connected right so it it, 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 it resolves a whole lot just by right. resolving one piece one piece right because i think everybody here is familiar with patterns and some people are stuck in patterns and they don't realize they're stuck in patterns. Yeah. But when you bring it to their attention, they'll go, oh, okay. So because that happened when I was four, I keep looking for um, this thing, A or B or C, and then I get caught into a loop and I am looping and looping and looping and repeating the same pattern. So if it's an abandonment, then I seek situations where I will now have abandonment that I experienced at three years old. I will have it again when I'm 14. I will have it again when I'm 21. I'll have it again when I'm 26. I'll have it again when I'm 35. And so we, until we recognize it and do something like, for example, the ancestral resolve and break it, then we keep re re repeating it. Now, there are some people who are very capable and have 
recognize their patterns and broken them themselves right but for others for others you know i always recommend um you know getting external supports no one I, I yes, that, yes. yes I, go ahead. I, as an nlp practitioner as well and a hypnotist we, we like to say there's a war going on the war, the war with, the, with the ship yes so a lot of people think they are addressing it but it takes that it's just like smoking mm -hmm. instead of resolving what really is the issue a lot of people use willpower it's a, so strategy is not going to the supermarket and buy the thing that you are addicted to so to speak and put it right. in your house and right. say i'm going to make sure i don't eat it so a lot of people it takes a lot of energy to bring that stuff in and keep it in the house right and, and fight yourself so most people feel like there is a, 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 a addressable what they are using is willpower right. and that drains you as well it, it takes a lot of energy just to, to continue using willpower so some people have some control yes but you don't want to use control in your life because it takes it takes energy and you want to master it and master right. it to resolve to let go right Offer it up, not get rid of it okay, when you try to get rid of it you have people in relationships and they find that it's not working out and they leave i, I might be a, a good candidate for that early in my life yes and they, they go to somebody else and then say what's going on these people these people are not in a sense and then they leave again and go to a different key, key change the relationship but right. having the same experiences yes it, it how they put it in jamaica you can't run away from yourself you have to resolve the issue right. rather than running away because no matter how far you run there you are everywhere you everywhere you go you carry a mirror That's exactly it. You carry a mirror and put it into different frames right we keep experiencing ourselves right so um one of the things that i have discovered um you know doing my um one-on-one -on -one consultations is that because information is so readily available university of google plus you know people going to therapy over and over for five eight ten years the they're not really resolving they're rehashing and getting a label and accepting the label and then moving very slowly towards re resolution what do you think about this current trend of, of of taking on labels like i've had people call me up and during a session say oh well you know i think i have adhd i'm going to be doing some tests to find out if i have adhd and i think i have this disorder and i am confident that i have and i'm like you know you know modern western lifestyle is giving these labels and sometimes they give medication to go along with the labels right so i'm i'm not for that but i want to hear what your experience has been because you straddle both spaces um natural plus you know this kind of of um spiritual modality so tell me what your thoughts are okay so these are what we call judgments yes those are identities and it's coming from the same place with the personalities and mm -hmm. the fragments mm -hmm. so that's why we're what we are resolving is the identities even though we, we, we how we put it is that we are we don't separate because people are at different places in their life mm -hmm. so we don't separate from anything we support Right. So there are some people are not open open minded and the doctor the therapy there are certain things that they're still going to need uh -huh. so we complement everything and support that and for who is ready they they, they can be resolved right right i got so it, it, it it's those it's those it's the same fragment the identities so it's the personality and the perspectives and we call them my, my daughter is a, a doctor she she, she put it the way that she said this is what we call it so if she said it means that that's not what this yes. these are certain symptoms we call it certain things right those are right. judgment that's why in the bible and there are other stories that leave all judgment so that's one thing most human does judge and hold on to stuff that's not serving right so right. we 
we, we inspire our enablers to resolve those and we don't have to go and, and seek validation outside. The, the, the fragments inside of us are seeking validation. We resolve it inside. We'll face the bully inside, the bully outside goes away. Right. Excellent. Excellent. And I noticed you mentioned the term fragments. And I know a lot of people are reading a lot about soul fragments, um, aspects of ourselves that we gave away through different scenarios, whether it was taken away from us or it was given away or we had to leave it behind just to be able to survive. Tell me how you deal with fragments in the work that you do. Okay. It, it's, it's going back to the, what we call the fragments is the opposite of a whole. Okay. Yeah. So, so really, so what really we're here in training. Mm -hmm. Training really means to remember. Mm -hmm. So what I'm basically, it's like we're, uh, we're, we're doing a movie. Mm -hmm. And um, so you, in the movie, we have roles. So somebody did forget their role. Now the best person to go to remind you of what your role is, and in this case, it's the, it's the creator, mm -hmm. is the person who wrote the script. Uh -huh. so what I do, I help you to resolve and bring you back to the person who wrote the script so that at that place you can correlate in our purpose. That's our purpose, what we are supposed right. to do here and live. We're, 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 we're free beings. We're supposed to we'll come here with everything that we need. We're abundant and everything. So I bring you back to the truth for you to realize that uh, I'm free. Right. We, resolve. We, can, we can come with all these baggages, packed full of baggages. Right. And expect to have the experience that we actually came here to. Right, yeah. right. And that's powerful because, um, I mean, I all this time I've been interacting with you, but I've never heard you put it quite this way. Your job is to bring your, us back to the creator. The creator or the writer. And, and, and bring us back to what our whole state looked and felt True. like by helping us to let go all the other things and become whole again so that's Up your that's your definition of upgrade the yes upgrade the program to the original program the right. boss of all boss so you okay so guys i i have to tell you what happened when i did the first session with um rohan basically he wiped my hard drive and I was vexed for about two, three days. I was like, okay, I was clear. I was not having issues with unforgiveness. I didn't remember all of those people who did me wrong. And I realized after about four days that not having that baggage was actually uncomfortable because I had been accustomed for the last 50 odd years of being in this state of unforgiveness or, you know, in Jamaica, we say we have people up, Powerful. up we're, we're angry. Powerful. And so, so suddenly now here I am for about three days, clear. It really felt as if someone had wiped my hard drive and I, I was upset. I'm not going to tell you a lie. <laughs> I, I called back. I said, listen, what, what happened? Because I feel like my hard drive has been cleared and I don't like it one bit. Right. <laughs> But as time went on, I realized that basically I now had a clean slate upon which to scribe, to rewrite my future. And so I would say that was, that was like the most beneficial part of doing the session was that it really cleared all of the debris from 17 years old, 25 years old, 32 years old. Nonsense that I didn't even think made a difference. They came up in the session and I was like shocked. I was like, what? I mean, there was even an instance where I remembered running out of a particular item, household item, and I was traumatized at the time. And that trauma of running out of that household item stuck with me for all these years and made me fearful it made you feel not enough. Yes, and made me fearful and think that there were inadequacies going through life. 
And so since doing the session, I've cleared that. And I'm just in a space where I'm a little bit hmm, less terrified of moving forward. Put it that way. Yeah. That, now, yes, go ahead, Ron. That, that blank space now is, is, is not a familiar place. It's no, not known, I, I, I know never like people though, because it made them feel powerful, which is the mind coming up and telling you that. So I, when you, when you pull, validate those hurts and wrong and say, I'm powerful, I did this and I went through this, and the mind is telling you that you're powerful. Right. So it's a familiar place. Now, when you get to this blank place, after let it soak in a little bit, then you realize, whoa, this is possibility where my yes. true heart desire, where now I put the horse in front of the car. Right. And right. live from an organic, abundant place of possibility. That's the blank world where we get to choose what we really, not from a place of fragment. Right. From being clear, clarity, mm -hmm. and cognize, and or have recognized, upgraded mm -hmm. the, the, mm -hmm. the, the, the program, mm -hmm. and ready now to live the life of our true heart desire. Right, right. Now, we're just about to wrap up now, Ron. But I wanted to ask a question because I think it's very important. I'm always talking about spiritual gifts. And I know that you have spiritual gifts. How much of your spiritual gifts are utilized in, inside of this modality? I'd like to say my gifts is equal to everybody. All of us have the ability. We Ron. Know. Ron, <laughs> stop the lie because that is not true. Because we think you have a little bit more ability than me, for example. No, but seriously, though, on a serious note, I know you're just trying to play humble, but tell me what, what you know. I know, for example, when I was doing the session with you, there was stuff in my head that I did not say. Yeah. And I didn't say anything. And you were able to still pick it up even though i said nothing right because you were you were scanning right and you were able to pick up the th these issues that i didn't speak about mm -hmm. right explain that a little bit to me you don't have to give away all of your trade secrets just tell me that tell okay. me what's going on there because there was something up with that because, because you know guys if you ever do a session with with with, with rohan Make sure you don't hide anything from it. And there's no need to hide, really. But it's just that, as you said, Ron, some people are not ready to speak on certain issues. So it's, right. So if they come to you and they don't speak on them, can they be resolved? That's my question. We, we, yeah, we, it's, a lot of it get resolved. But if we, to be totally free, we, want to, we don't want to, we don't want to pluck out something from the garden. We just want to hold on to the top. And get some of the leaves off, uh, and then the root is there for it. We want so to grab it by the root and pluck it out. So they, they, they get a lot of results, and based on how it is designed and what they're allowing, because yes. people have to allow, we don't really go against people's um, wishes. Right. And once they're open and willing, mm -hmm. it, we, that's, all, that's all that it requires their, right. their commitment to wanting help. Right, right. So, in a nutshell, if I were to describe it, we go into a session, we, you bring us into a state of relaxation, mm -hmm. and you're able to scan. Get anybody. You, you get us to, right. And then you're able to remotely, because the sessions are not done in person. Mm -hmm. For everybody that's watching this, this modality is done via phone, by distance. But it's still very powerful, very effective. The creator everywhere, everywhere. Yes, and you're able to tap into that creator energy and help to navigate us through um, the process of releasing and resolving. And as you correctly said earlier on, when we resolve matters with ourselves, we resolve it. For our entire lineage we're resolving it for our Ancestors. parents their parents their parents and going right back and we're also resolving it for our siblings and, and our cousins and then we're resolving it for our future generation and future generation 
Right. So it's an important uh, modality, I believe, that everyone should, um, you know, if you're really having traumas, look at doing a session because it really does help the entire lineage. And I know this because I, I have sought out modalities that resolve not just issues with me, but with issues in my lineage because I know we talk about DNA all the time. We talk about epigenetics all the time. We yes, know for a sure that the memory is stored not only in our organs or in yeah, parts of our body. There are scientific evidence that it actually changes the DNA yes. from, from abundance to, to poverty. Yes. So in this, in this work, it operates, works at a cellular level and basically mm -hmm. re, hence the word recognize, recognize back to truth, back to the abundance and the freedom that we are. We are. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Well, Ron, we have come to the end of our interview. I have um, included your links below because um, people might be interested in doing a session with you. Um, just for the record, I do, when I do my one-on-ones, um, there are some people who get resolved with the, with the session with me and other persons who may need extra support. And I usually um, send them on over to Rohan. But if you feel as if you need to do a session, I put the details below so that you are able to book a session, um, whether it's with um, Rohan alone or a session with me and then Rohan. Doing a session with me and then Rohan is actually more beneficial because Rohan is not a talker. He, yeah, he will, I, I, get, he, I get down to business. Right. He gets down to the things that you're not talking about. But what happens when I do a session, we do a lot of talking. I synthesize what has happened. And then I have a discussion with Rohan prior to you joining. And so he goes in already with a strategy based on what I have observed. And then he makes his own assessment. And then we do, you know, pretty sound resolution, uh, having done that multi-pronged approach. So yeah, I just you, love, yes, you're go actually, ahead. You're actually a key element in the whole thing. Yes. You yes. actually, you're really the guiding light that points people to their true yes. nature. Yes, yes. Whether that's it's me or, you know, somebody else that you, you have this, this natural ability. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Ron. So, yeah. And I really appreciate your ability, Ron. Believe me, I am very grateful that you took the time to go and study so many things so that you will be able to help so many people. So I am grateful and I thank you on behalf of all the people who you've helped before and all the people that you will help in future. So just check the, the link below to get all the details on how to reach, um, reach out to Rohan, to check his website and also to book a session with him. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode. Our next episode is gonna be just as exciting. So stay tuned. Thank you. Thank you.